My name is Wendy and I'm going to give today's children's chat. I want to start by asking you a question. What kind of a day are you having today? Are you feeling happy or sad? What kinds of things make us feel happy? What would you say? I thought of a few things you might say, like maybe getting to go to a party, a new toy, a puppy or a kitten, winning a game, or spending time with friends, just to name a few. Now I said I hope you're having a happy day, but we all have sad days sometimes. How about what are some things that might cause us to have a sad day? Maybe falling down and getting hurt, missing someone, losing your favorite toy or getting broken. Maybe when someone says something that hurts your feelings, maybe even if you get a poor grade on a test and you tried really hard or you studied really hard. When we think about those, the list of things for happy and sad, it comes down pretty simple. When something good happens, we feel happy. When something bad happens, we feel sad. I have another question. How do you think Jesus wants us to feel? Well, today's gospel reading from John chapter 15 uses the word love nine times. And then in particular, let's look at verses nine through 11, where Jesus says, as the Father has loved me, so have I loved you. Now remain in my love. If you keep my commands, you will remain in my love, just as I have remained, kept my Father's commands, and remain in his love. I have told you this so that my joy may be in you, and your joy may be complete. So Jesus is telling the disciples and us, as we read the Bible and learn from his teachings, that he wants us to feel love and joy. Was Jesus saying that nothing bad would ever happen in our lives there, though? No, of course not. But what we can learn is that even if we are sad, if we remember that Jesus loves us and is always with us, we can still keep joy in our heart. And that is great news. Let us pray. Heavenly Father, we know that you love your Son and that your Son loves us. Help us to remain in his love so that we will be filled with joy. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. Happy day.